Good morning. Today is Thursday, November 17th, D-Day. I'm Justin Spinder. And I'm John Ryan. And this is Kennedy Live. Now for school announcements. Our saint of the day is Elizabeth of Hungary. In her short life, Elizabeth manifested such great love for the poor and suffering that she has become the patroness of the Catholic Charities and of the secular Franciscan Order. The daughter of the King of Hungary, Elizabeth, chose a life of penance when a life of leisure and luxury could easily have been hers. This choice endeared her in the hearts of the common people throughout Europe. Under the spiritual direction of a Franciscan friar, St. Elizabeth led a life of prayer, sacrifice, and service to the poor and sick. Seeking to become one with the poor, she wore simple clothing. Daily, she would take bread to hundreds of the poorest in the land who came to her gate. Attention, it is now that time of year again. Time to try your, author, try to time your hand at becoming a published author. We are currently accepting submissions for the new edition of On My Mind. All work must be submitted no later than December 1st. It must be emailed as a Microsoft Word document attachment to cmorris at kennedycatholic.org. There is a 1,000 word limit. Please see Ms. Morris if you have any questions. There will be an interest meeting for the Pro-Life March on Monday, November 21st. The march is on January 27th. All are welcome. You don't have to be in the club. There will be a meeting of, the, of all girls interested in joining the swim team tomorrow during homeroom at 8.15 a.m. The meeting will take place in the library. Help ring in Christmas with some beautiful Christmas wreaths and help our younger gales with their senior class gift to the school. They have set their sights high and are hoping to get a press box for the turf field. Please check out the email sent to you or the website for further information. The Patterson Recreation Center is looking for basketball coaches for their upcoming season. Coaches must commit to practice one night a week and be available for Saturday contest. This is a great way to earn community service hours and participate in something you love. Debate club will meet today. The topic will be the Electoral College. Student volunteers are needed to help with the auction on Friday and Saturday. Community service hours are available. Please sign up in the advancement office in the lower library if you are available to help. On Friday, November 18th, volunteers will be helping with setup for the auction beginning at 2.45 p.m and ending at at least 4.45 p.m. There likely will be more to do, so if you can stay later, that would be helpful. On Saturday, November 19th, volunteers will be helping at the event. You must be able to commit to the entire event, 4.45 until at least 10 p.m. or whenever cleanup is done. You will be given dinner before the event opens and guests arrive at 6 p.m. Raffle tickets for Sister Barbara's Money Tree and a MacBook Pro will be available for pre-sale to students at a discounted price during lunch periods on Thursday, November 17th and Friday, November 18th. Don't forget to check out our newspaper, Gale Wins, in the school website. Check out the latest article about Sister Barbara and her dolls. And now for This Day in History with Luciana. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic. I'm Luciana Scorsone, and welcome to This Day in History. On this day, in, in 1831, Ecuador and Venezuela separated from Colombia. In 1869, the construction of the Suez Canal was completed. In 2003, Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger was sworn in as the governor of California. That's all for This Day in History. Now back to the anchors. In world and local news, medical professionals are concerned about our daily use of gadgets, like smartphones and tablets. Constantly looking down is causing more cases of what they call tech neck. Doctors say it's easier for us to look down at our phones than holding them up to eye level. Adding that puts strain on neck and shoulder muscles from balancing our 10 pound head. Bad posture may lead to neck and shoulder pain as well as headaches. Doctors recommend taking a break every 20 minutes to help alleviate the issues. Some fitness instructors believe we need to relearn the ability to crawl just like we did as a baby. They believe crawling to be good exercise, and some say crawling is also good for the central nervous system. Doctors are a little more skeptical, but admit crawling would strengthen certain muscle groups. Physicians caution it wouldn't be good for a person with knee, wrist, shoulder, or neck issues. Fitness experts say crawling can be a fun way to exercise, and it's helpful in challenging our bodies in a way that we haven't done since we were literally able to walk. Not only have the fires in the southeast caused major damage and evacuations while firefighters battled the flames, but hundreds of residents have been ho hospitalized due to the smoke. 
It's not just an issue for those living near the wildfires. Smoke has drifted into major cities like Atlanta and Charlotte in recent days. Some school districts are limiting outdoor physical activity. Students with respiratory conditions, those wanting to remain indoors during recess, and athletes with outdoor practice have been allowed to remain inside. And now over to Mirage with sports. Good morning, County Catholic Sports Nation. I'm Mirage Patel with your sports. In the NBA, the Cavs lost to the Pacers last night 103-93. to LeBron and JR did not play in this game. And the Knicks beat the Pistons 105-102. to Kristaps Porzingis had a career-high 35 points in the game. And the Celtics beat the Mavericks 90-83 to on Isaiah Thomas' 30 points. In NCAA basketball, URI beat Brown 79-72. to Cal beat UC Irvine 75-65 to with Charlie Moore having 35 points in the win. In the NFL, the Saints and the Panthers play tonight at 8.30. And in boys basketball, Mikey Ryan led all scorers as the boys won their scrimmage against KIPP NYC College Prep. And Cole Esposito had one rebound in one minute. Well, that's all for sports. Back to the anchors. Well, I'm Justin Spinder. And I'm John Ryan. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day. Roll credits.